Now this, yeah, so um, this next year of track, so 2018 track, you will still be a gremlin, but the year after that, you'll move up to midgets, phantoms? I can't remember what the name yeah, is. Yeah, it was midgets. Midgets is the group. And then, and then after the midgets is phantoms. Yeah, so and you then got you one. stare at the phantoms forever and ever, but when you were like close to a grown up, you out out of it right exactly grown-ups aren't in the lead so we were talking about track um because uh it starts up in february and we'll be doing track again even though it does take up a lot of time it's just it's a really good community that we do track with and it's um a great sport for little marcus like uh i like it for him it's you know running and that's always a good skill set like almost any sport that's like truly active from the waist down you need to be a good runner so this is good for him yeah, but he, tell him tell him what real quick tell him what you said about when you are nervous well so when i like started track and like when i was like five and ten to six i i got nervous when, when i had to nervousness to a gray cloud over the sun? Yeah, because, because every time like quickly a gray cloud covers the sun, uh -huh. then I just feel I just I just don't feel it. I just don't feel it anymore. Ah what a neat metaphor. He compared nervous energy to a gray cloud covering the sun. So just like a gray cloud will move off of the sun the same thing with nervous energy it will move off of him so he said from now on that you're going to tell your body so it's just extra energy he's going to tell his body when he's nervous that it's just extra energy and we had to work on that last year because he would get nervous before races and i had to let him know like i get nervous before auditions i get nervous before stand up or acting but I know it's just my body's way of dealing with all the extra energy um because nervousness and excitement are the exact same thing it's just how we allow our mind to think about that energy so if you just allow your mind to think of it positively that's one thing or if you just know okay this is extra ener energy that I can harness into something beneficial so a uh, really good topic Marcus maybe we'll do that topic on your channel how to do how to handle when you're nervous you can teach uh, the kids that will subscribe to your channel what to do with exciting and a nervous energy there are all these trucks going by. Anyways, a fire trucks. So we're on our way to my girlfriend Shania's house for a play date with little Marcus. The twins should be going to sleep if they're not asleep already. They are both asleep. Hallelujah. You guys, I haven't vlogged at all today. I think I've vlogged once. It's been a very uneventful day. We went to the play date. Um, before that, we went to uh, Chick-fil-A and used these um, coupons or not coupons promotional cards they had they messed up one of my orders so I got two free sandwiches so I got lunch for me and the boys and then I kicked it at my girlfriend's house on the play date then I came home that cute guy is here that's it He's been at work, working hard. He's so tired, though. He's about to go get the match wrap. He had been saying he was gonna get it. Then I got the other baby. My other sweetie pie. Hi. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Um, so yeah, trying to 
count the minutes until we can put them to bed. Because they have been complete crazy people. Like, I put them in and out of the hot chair, I want to say, six times within an hour. Every single time, Kai acted like he was going to eat. When I would turn my back, he would literally wait until I turned my back. He would throw whatever I put on his tray onto the floor. The first time, it was goldfish. The second time, it was um, a chicken pasta, chicken vegetable and pasta mix. And then the third time, it was pesto pasta. And then this time he wasn't in the seat. He acted like he wanted his um, sippy cup of water. He took it, smiled, acted like he was going to give me a kiss, and then threw it on the floor. It's not funny. Why are you being so mean to mommy? Don't touch. Mm. That's why you went to Jared. Who are you doing? <laughs> and this guy right here. Yeah, that's what he's got for y'all today. What do you want for Christmas? You want a watch case or what else? Mm -hmm. What are some gift ideas you all have for guys? I think I got him a three dope gifts already. I'm about to get him one more, and then that's it. Look, look. But you still ain't even told me. What are you supposed to be doing? Looking that you at never did. And then, but I t didn't I tell you here recently? I'm yeah. thinking I don't. It don't matter. Send it to me anyway. I don't like. Angel ain't giving me nothing to get her for Christmas. No lies. I gave it to you back in uh beginning of November. And I told you to send me details because I don't know what it is. Sorry, we just got interrupted because Kai's pressing buttons. I don't know. If I knew the details, I would be able to give it to you. I don't. So how? Huh? Huh? Uh, you know what type of camera I have. Go to a show where they have experts. Yeah, that's what you said last time. Didn't nobody know what the hell I was talking so about. So you didn't go to a store that had experts. That's all they said Stop was cameras and camera equipment. I see Did you hear him? There's a... I-S-H-I-T. It's only a matter of time. That he's going to take up after you. Whatever. Y'all see my puffs today? My husband said he liked them. I'm being cute for him. You go over here looking like Natia. With your heavy eyes. Um, Alright, I'll probably vlog one more time before the end of the night. But I just want to check in and say hey. So I get down. Oh my goodness, he's standing on a, a, the side of a box. Alright, y'all. Two. 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 Yeah. Why are you coming out properly? We are jungle gems. When it comes to these boys. What are you doing? Get daddy kisses. Mm -hmm. No. You gonna get daddy kisses, Kat? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Ma. 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 Thank you. Ma. Give it to me. Ma. Ma. Thank you. What? Whoa. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Where's he going? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, is that your slide? Okay, something's happening over there. Oh, that was all blurry. Right, let me see if it'll focus on your beautiful face. It did. It made it. It said, oh. Adonis. Mess over here. Adonis. Shut up. <laughs> one of <laughs> one of my friend's mothers called him that. Who calls you Adonis? That was uh, Trish. Tr Trish. That's what she called. One of our friends called him Adonis. I don't even know who that is. But I like it. Whoever he is, if he look like you, I bet you I'd be attracted to him. I know who Donis is. It's a Greek god. Hey. Well, he's a god of what? Sexual pleasure? Mm -mm. What's he the god of? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Straight trash. <laughs> it keeps going in and out of focus. All right, it is late. We should have been in bed. It's almost 11 o'clock. Just stepped on a wooden hanger. It almost took me out. Look at all these clothes that I don't have a spot for as of yet. Let me show y'all. I have this, all these. And like most of the stuff, like I'm not gonna wear this white thing anywhere anytime soon or this long red dress. These are my cap and gown. This is my cap and gown from my latest graduation. What is this? It was a dress that I got some black stuff on. A red dress that I'll rarely ever wear. So it's nothing that I want in my main closet. This dress, this sweater I will wear. It's a long sweater. But this like ugly sequin sweater, I love it for character stuff. I'm not gonna wear it anytime soon. This skirt I wore to the kids. Um, dedication this i think i might finally give up it's vintage but look at that that ain't never gonna get color back that's just deodorant just all up in it yeah so a lot of this stuff is like special occasion stuff i wore this last year to marcus's job's holiday party when boobs were huge because i was breastfeeding <laughs> so yeah a lot of this stuff is like special occasion stuff so I don't want it to take up a bunch of space in my closet. So I'm hoping that it can fit in the coat closet once he puts up the extra rack. But we'll see because I'm looking at it and it seems like a lot. I don't know. But um, for now, it's just about to go on this floor. Fold it up ever so nicely. And a big old pile on my side of the bed. So once he gets that up, uh, the, the rack up, I can be able to get it. This dress that I did not get to wear in St. Thomas. The back is out. It has it's super cute, duper cute. But this year, our 10 year anniversary, oh, I'm wearing it. I can't believe we will be married for 10 years in 2017. We were literally just talking about on the couch how lucky we are to have each other. Like, we really do genuinely love each other and want the other person to be happy. Like, and want to be a part of what makes the other person happy. Yeah, that's a bug. Hold on, let me get my... <laughs> Y'all saw me stop? I was like, what is it? Baby, there's a bug. I don't even know what type of bug it is. It's not a roach. You see that black dot on that thing? I don't know what type of bug it is. Because we have this coming, that this that leads right out to the outside. We can get bugs in here. Remember? They didn't come in from here. Let's seal it off. Let me get back there. It's not moving. Anyways, as I was saying. We're happy that we have each other. He was saying, I feel like we are spoiled because we have each other. Because we do. We genuinely, not to say that's not what married couples do, but like 
he genuinely wants me to be happy. And I genuinely want him to be in a good mood and to be happy. And I like when I can be the cause of both. <laughs> Boom. All right, so I'm going to end this vlog while my husband, ooh. I don't like I spray. He was already dead. Oh, he was already dying and dead. Thank God. I was not going to get it. And I'm not that afraid of bugs, but sometimes I just can't get it. I just can't. I don't want to, you know, just in case they decide to move, they decide to fight back. I just don't have it in me right now. Mm-mm. No. Oh, I need a water. All right, guys. I hope you all have a good night. Sweet dreams. I'm going to have some sweet dreams and I'm going to have some sweet chocolate. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I can't see your face in there, so I don't know if you're responding. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. What's up, guys? And welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me, Angel. I'm that chick. Oh, yeah. And if you like this 